<laughs> Enough with the seduction act. <laughs> I can't let my act get rusty while I'm not on stage, you know? But damn, this water doesn't feel good. There's springs over in Longport, but this next level... What, is the kid not coming in? Feels like a waste to come all this way and not use the outdoor spring. Yeah, I did invite him, but he said he was too tired and was just gonna settle with a shower. Weird. Didn't seem like he was afraid of showing off that skinny-ass body or whatever. There's plenty of cultures out there that don't do public bathing. Could just be that. But you're right that it's a waste not to come in. I'll see if he wants me to reserve the place for him later. Like some overprotective parent. Well, that kiddo might not be here to give you some TLC, but I am. How about it? This do it for ya? Old farts like you love these kinds of poses, right? Oh, knock it off. Just because you were born with looks and talent doesn't make it okay to abuse them. <laughs> Made you hard? I'm limp as a damn noodle! Hmm? What are they even talking about over there? <laughs> uh, who knows? I can't believe those two! Though I'm sure it was Aaron who was the one who started it. Your hair is so smooth, Reset! Can I wash it for you? I would be delighted if you did. <laughs> Yume really does have a way of becoming fast friends with anyone. I think of her as my little sister at this point. She reminds me of my younger siblings back home. I almost forgot you're an older sister. It doesn't feel quite right to me somehow. <laughs> Maybe for you, but for me, Kasim doesn't come home very often. So I actually feel way more like an older sister than a younger one. I see. You'll probably always be the latter to me, sorry. <laughs> you're definitely the older sister type though. Your hair is so long, and your skin smooth like porcelain. You're so curvy, too. <laughs> well, I like the way your hair is fluffy like kitten's fur. And your skin so lustrous with such a beautiful tone. <laughs> it's silky to the touch. I love it. Y you really think so? I'm covered in scars, though. Maybe so. But you got those protecting people like us and loved ones back home, didn't you? I really don't want you to get hurt, of course. But I see those scars more as proof of the sacrifices you've made for others. And so they make me all the more proud of you. Aw, thank you. <laughs> By the way, this might be out of nowhere, but... What kind of person do you think Van's type is? Pardon? A long time ago, I remember asking Ida how people usually behave when staying over somewhere. And she said they usually talk about romance and stuff. Like who the people close to them might be in love with. Uh, <laughs> Ida really didn't beat around the bush, huh? Mm, I'm sure potential partners for him would need to be over a certain age. So, not us. He sees us more as children. <laughs> he's so nice though, isn't he? He makes it look like he's not paying that much attention to us, but it feels like he always is. Yes, I would have to agree. But for example, he isn't the same with us as he is with Reset and Judith. Elaine too. It's always like he acts with a lot less restraint towards them. Now that you mention it, Man, I've seen them all in the sauna before, but you sure got hella scars, huh? Bet they come with a ton of shady stories to tell. Not gonna deny it. That's just how it is when you're in this business. I'll bet. Especially when you've got connections with PMCs, the Society, Heiyue, and a bunch of other dicey groups. Sounds like you backed up the Mirage side during the war a couple years ago, too. Then your ex is an A-rank bracer, and you've got a partner in crime in the CID. A ton might even be selling it short. Keep it up with the wild guesses. Too sharp for his own good. So, you went to high school with those two, right? D Give me a break here. Your intuition is something else, you brat.
Doesn't need to be something else in this case. The small fry might not have noticed, but Miss Perfect sure has. You're just so easy to read. It's like you're not even trying to hide this stuff. Cutting right to the chase, huh? I mean, you're right. It's not like I'm going out of my way to hide it, but... You just never volunteer it either. Same difference. Almost bizarre how you hold your cards close to your chest while using your whole Spriggan deal to meddle in others' affairs. How you always dive head first to protect us from danger, whatever the cost to yourself. Like you aren't worth a damn. Putting it like that's a little... You try to disguise it. You get real pushy when it comes to Mira and make a show of boiling everything down to debts paid or owed. But it's all talk, isn't it? At least when it comes to us, you're all give and no take. And I hate how you're making me leave my debt to you forever unpaid. I get it though. You're scared, aren't you? <laughs> We all owe you in some way or another. It's part of why I came all the way over to the capital to help out. Not a big part though. Half for sightseeing, half for revenge, and like 1% repaying you. Oh, no doubt. But that's not true for the others. They're here because they're grateful to you. Well, they're grateful and they worry about leaving you alone because you're a danger to yourself. <laughs> We're closer than you think and not just in age. Maybe think about how liked you actually are next time you want to pull the sacrificial lone wolf act. Not that I care what happens to you, just to be clear. <laughs> oh, get out of here with that shit! <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Not often you're this sincere. Though if I've got a little hellion like you worried about me, then I got a long ways to go as a man. Just have to take it one day at a time. Careful you don't overdo it, Grandpa. Anyway, enough serious talk. We're in a hot springs resort. You gotta tell me all the good night spots. Like where you can get down and dirty in the bath with some hot older girls. Nowhere, that's where. Get down and dirty? <laughs> Goodness, I wonder what that could mean. He really can't help himself, can he? Whoa! Everything's all white! Sorry for leaving her with you all this time, Reset. Not at all. We've had a lovely time together. <laughs> Leave the washing to me whenever you're ready. I want to help wash the boys, too. Can I? I suppose it might be fine if it's just you. <laughs> we'll have to get there and the owners okay later. <laughs> Hmm? Is something wrong? N not at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> we just couldn't help looking at you. Hmm? Oh, were you concerned with how my artificial body is faring? Oh, it's not that. Um, if anything, it's the opposite. I forgot it's artificial. <laughs> That's quite the compliment. I'm not going out of my way to hide anything, so you can look all you like if the sight doesn't displease you. You have to squint to notice anything different at all. Oh, I see it now. This is the joint between two of my artificial parts. All it takes is to wear something over it, and nary a person is likely to notice. Still, while I may sound like an expert, I've only had this body for a year. I... Um... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound like I was holding knowledge over you. It's a rather complex story, and much of it is confidential. I wish I could tell you if I'm being truthful. No, you don't need to apologize. You've gone out of your way to do what you can for us in spite of your limitations. If anything, you've been doing more than you should. It makes me, um, well, I can't help but compare myself to you and feel a little inadequate. You, um, yes? <laughs> you see, I have numerous skills and knowledge because I was intended to be that way. My skills have been refined, 
and my body modified to best serve my purpose. However, the both of you also have roles that only you can fulfill. Roles that I suspect are much more important to Arkwright solutions than my own. You really think so? I don't know. That's kind of hard to imagine. Don't worry about it too much for now. Just try to take it to heart as wisdom from your elders. To add, while my body might differ from that of an ordinary human's, I am still 20 years old as I once told you all. I'm not an enchantress who is much older than she appears, or anything to that effect. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Good to know, Reset. We're so close in age, and yet she's so much wiser than me. What's an enchantress? Oh, Yume! Are you all talking about work? I want to help you all when I'm big, too. Grandpa said I couldn't, but I'm not gonna listen to him. I'm sure hearing that would make him a bit sad. I know I'd be happy to have you on the team, though. Oh, for sure. Sure is noisy over there. But I guess that's what happens when three quarters of the group are kids. They're just in what I call the Hot Springs vacation spirit. I think it's probably time we got out anyways. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, getting in the bath with everyone does seem like it would help me get to know them all better. But... I doubt they work out the truth that easily. But I couldn't be as comfortable as I can with Gran and the others back home. Still, it would be a waste just to have a shower, so maybe I'll sneak in later once everyone's done. Thanks! Yesterday's food was really good, so I can't wait for... Uh... Oh, right! You did say that you were here for a few days on vacation! Well, I'll just be going then. Wait! I need food!
Okay, looks like no one's around. I knew the best time to shoot for would be right after dinner. I'll really be in for it if Aaron finds me, so I'll make this a short dip. I did only just take a shower. Hopefully a quick wash is good enough before going in. <laughs> I can barely see a thing. There's so much steam. It really is curious how the oxidation of sulfur can come out so thick. As I recall, it has a positive effect on the skin and soothes chronic pain. Maybe I should convince Gran and Essie to come. Uh huh? What? Van?
Don't be shy. Take a look. Well, we're on the clock now.
Bring it on! Displaying enemy stats! Full boost! Go all out! Give them your all! You're not getting away! Blast off! That takes care of that. Mira deposit confirmed. Gotta keep this up. Let us all pray together. What a lovely breeze. I had merely hoped for a light break, but I feel almost spoiled with how pleasant this has been. Out for a little stroll, handsome? You strike me as a tourist. From the capital, perhaps?
Oh, quite sadly, it's just me, myself, and I this time. I must admit to being a touch lonely without my oh-so-naughty superior and rambunctious co-worker. I have an idea. Won't you be my arm candy instead? Goodness me, my hopes have been dashed. Well then, have a delightful night. And may you not end up a plaything for anything too nasty. Now's probably as good a time as any to head over. Who could have business here this late at night? Ah, oh, I can't believe you actually came. Well, I, how do you... Oh, you're with them, aren't you? Doing, Van? We happened to notice you looking over this way earlier today. You mentioned how you lived in Long Lai five years ago, so we thought this might be where. That, or maybe you'd taken a page out of that dumb race car driver's book and this was your local girl's place. Oh, on the contrary, by all means, come in. Please, stay inside, sir. No need to be so on guard around them, Cody. They're acquaintances of your sisters, as you very well know. They're also highly regarded by Prince Sharid, Fawn, and Professor Hamilton. I think we can at least afford to trust them as much as the guild does, hmm? I suppose so. Aha! A love of surprises seems to be part of the job description, looking back through the ages. The current occupier of my old job is no exception. Still, if not everyone is aware of who I am, then I'd best get to introducing myself. My name is Samuel Rocksmith. I am the previous president of the Republic. It's a pleasure to meet you all, Arkwright Solutions.
So he is the Roaring Lion's unofficial student. The Spriggan who serves as a bridge between light and darkness. What a fascinating young man. I'm interested in everyone with him too, including her naturally. He's not my direct superior, if that's what you're thinking. Even if he has helped me in my work, while my sister and I at least have some things in common with Chief Ruron, we don't see eye to eye with your friend on very fundamental issues. Prince Sharid, the Basel Institute of Sciences Professor Hamilton, the Kowloon Group's Fan Lu, and one other individual, whose name I will not disclose, to extend you an invitation. <laughs> you are absolutely right. I didn't bring you here to hire you for anything. That said, I'm well aware of the good work you've been doing all over the country. Whether it was in Cray, Longport, Tharbad, or Basel. As you know, all of those surface incidents were caused by Almada. But I believe there are deeper issues they share at their core. It's been two years since the war ended. The unprecedented prosperity our country has been blessed with has pushed the problems we have always had into the background. 
However, they never went away, and their effects are starting to be felt once more. Worrying, yes, but all of that was also what led me to want to meet with you. We live in highly turbulent times, with countless forces of light and darkness at work in this young republic. But we have you, a group like no other, not heroes of justice like the Guild, nor the CID, who maintains balance on the government's behalf. You work alongside groups on both sides of the moral spectrum, while having your own distinct style all the same. And I can only hope that you will be a powerful force in carving a future for our country. <laughs> You're even craftier than I'd heard. <laughs> Though it is motivating to have all of that said about you. I don't know how much I'll be able to help, but I'm here for whatever you need. As someone who lives and works in this country, I want it to be a peaceful and prosperous one. Everyone. <laughs> Can't help but feel like you're thinking a little too highly of us. But this is one connection I'd wager is well worth having, even if it might bite us back one day. I'm glad you feel that way. I can see I was right to invite you here after all. I hope we can have a long and fruitful relationship, Mr. President. We're more than happy to take on jobs for you, providing you bring them in through the back door. And so long as the pay and profile fit our standards, of course. <laughs> I am delighted to hear that. May this partnership serve us well, Van Arkride. All that said, you just leave the burden of politics to us adults for now. I would rather you keep your focus on what you want to achieve. And I will. 
Thank you, Mr. President.